Hey, what's up YouTube? So it's a nice sunny day out today and I decided to play with a little solar project I've been kind of kicking around. Um, inside this uh, cup of water there, that's just a little cheap. I think that costs less than two dollars off of eBay. It's just uh, like a three to five volt um, water pump and I had to get some uh, uh, quarter inch uh, plastic. It's inner diameter quarter inch tubing. I think it's outer three eighths or something like that. And uh, anyway, so then I was looking around, I was like, oh, I want to test this out. So I needed to get a three to three to five -ish, three to six volt power supply. And I remember I had this old uh, old uh, solar panel laying around. It's, it's meant to keep a trickle charge on your batteries of your car. And uh, so all I'm going to do is uh, flip that panel around. That solar panel is pretty old and beat up, so don't be shocked if it doesn't work. So I'll zoom in here. And, uh, you know, I just got the leads hooked up right there. And all I'm going to do is walk over and flip that solar panel over so it's getting some sunshine on it. There it is. It's not very powerful, but it is kind of cool. Um, so it's basically the pump's pumping the water out, out through the clear tube and then back into the into the glass there. So I'm not sure what the heck to do with this thing, but I just thought it was kind of neat. I wish it was a little bit more powerful um, so I could push it like uphill and stuff. Um, but it's kind of a neat thing. The real neat thing about it is, you know, it's just running off this little solar panel. I don't even know how much, I think I got this at Harbor Freight or something. Um, but uh, anyways, that's just kind of cool. And it's just kind of neat to see physical movement from solar panel and uh, hopefully this inspires somebody out there um, you know they're always saying they're looking for ways to store electrical power and everybody thinks the solution is a battery um, but they forget that uh, a lot of times we forget our basic science classes that we took in high school and stuff even junior high and things um, and you know you hear people talk about potential energy and they always give the example of you put a a roll a rock up a ramp and then that's potential energy well it's also stored energy if you want to look at it that way so in a sense uh, if I were to put another cup above this and collect the water your solar panel is converting the water from energy from down here all the way up here and if you could get it to elevate just enough higher it would essentially be storing that energy if just by moving the water from one cup to another maybe I'll build one of those I don't know if I the thing's going to push it up that high, but here, I'll try to build one and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I had to play around with it a little bit, because it actually takes a, a lot of energy to move water uphill. And, you know, by going from there to there, um, it takes quite a bit of energy fighting the force of gravity. I actually was going to use this, and you can see how much higher that is, and it wasn't quite able to push it up that high. And I was able to get it a lot higher, but... Um, when I say a lot higher, I just put a couple 2x4s under it and lifted it up. But um, I don't want to get it too high um, because then the, um, the amount of water I need and stuff changes and stuff. Anyway, so here's my solar panels set down right now so I'm not getting any power to it. And what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll flip over that solar panel and you'll see what I'm talking about. Hold on. kind of tricky. I gotta make sure my shadow doesn't hit the solar panel. So here we go. The water is emptying out of the glass there and filling up to the higher one. And it's going slow because it takes a lot of, like I said, a lot of energy to go up hill, hill and we're only dealing with a, probably like, I'm probably sending five volts to that little motor and it's just real cheap. Like I said, less than two dollars. So it's not, it's not, it's using very little power. You know, that only using that much power. And, uh, but it's doing its job and so the glass down there is all getting close to empty and the energy from the Sun is in this case converting into mechanical energy and putting the water into the top, top glass now you see how long it's taking to fill that um, like if I had a little uh, valve on the bottom emptying out there 
them it'd be pretty cool because I'd be relying on gravity to push that gravity and atmospheric pressure to push the um, water back into the other glass. Oops, I think it's just about empty. I think the, this guy here should have put some more water in. It's pretty much empty. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip the solar panel over and you'll see the water because of a siphoning action if I didn't get any bubbles in there go the other direction. There you go. Now look how much quicker. So the gravity is actually more powerful than that uh, motor. See how quickly it's filling up the small glass? Or the small glass, the lower glass. And there you can see it's emptying out. And that's uh, what will happen there is, see if I can get both of these in here. Oops, where's my finger at there? So the water level on this and the water level on this are trying to balance out. Um, because of the siphoning effect there and so as they get closer um, I don't know if they'll slow down or not time might not have an effect on it but they definitely will uh, when the lines from here are equal to here it'll stop because it's like a formula it's equal equation you got the same amount of pressure on this side as you do on that side but as you can see this glass is almost full now and this glass is almost empty so that's what I'm talking about when I say you could use solar power to store the energy in the physical form, in the form of kinetic energy, I think is what they call it, um, by moving the weight of the water. The water has weight and mass um, into this glass, and because it's at a higher elevation, that essentially is a way to store energy. Because, as you see, I turned off the power supply, and all by itself the energy flowed back into the lower glass and again if I just flip it up I'm getting power to it and the water is flowing from the lower glass through the tube to the upper glass and so if I were to um, if I were able to put um, like that pump in between there and if I could rig it up to be a, sort of like a generator because it's like electric motor if you, a DC little toy DC motor if you spin the shaft of the motor it'll actually produce electricity and the opposite is true is if you put electricity to the DC motor then it spins the shaft and makes physical energy so you could if you could put that pump in series with it and it is kind of now actually I should see if it You'd have to design it specifically to work that way, because you know I don't know how that pump's designed. But um, you could there it should be fair, not super easy, but it should fairly be easy to make a pump that'd be in series here. That if you apply electricity to it, it'd pump, and then if you uh, took the electricity off as the water flew through it, it'd spin the propellers and turn the shaft and magnets and around the coil and everything and produce electricity for you. And it'd be, it wouldn't be as much as it went in, but it'd be something. And, it, and storing a glass of water is pretty much, as long as you sealed this whole thing, it would be pretty much indefinite. As opposed to batteries are expensive, and you know they sometimes they bleed down just by trickling and stuff. And uh, um, you worry about heat and acid and all kinds of stuff. So, so this is essentially a energy solar energy storage unit if you really look at it. Anyways. Uh, I don't know, I think it's kind of interesting, and hopefully somebody else uh, out there finds it interesting. Maybe you'll use this knowledge and do something really cool with this. Um, kind of a, a good idea would be, like, if this was a big tower system, you know, your city water just runs off of a... They usually put a tower on top of a, a hill way up high, pump water up there, and then that's where you get your water pressure is all that water coming down the pipes. Um, I guess probably some places they put you know pumps in there but a lot of places it just is purely gravitational flow just like this so it is kind of like a city water system right there anyways uh i just thought this was kind of cool and i know you might not find this interesting but if you like it give me a thumbs up if you subscribe you'll see more videos as they come out thank you for watching